stuck in here. Sit. to school season. This morning was the first day in the school year for Tiny and after I dropped him off I thought to myself perhaps back to school does not have to just be for humans. Now, I may have told you guys before that Phoenix and Falcon both graduated from basic training so in the spirit of back to school I wanted to show you guys the tricks and things we learned at their basic training that have really helped and worked out for us and I'm gonna show you how we taught those to the dogs. Now I'm not a professional dog trainer obviously. Uh, my dogs definitely still have a lot of work to do to be like the best trained dogs ever because they're not. And every dog is different so some of these things might work out for you guys and some of them may not. It really depends on your dog. I can tell you that it's different between Phoenix and Falcon. So I'm going to show you today how I was able to teach the dogs how to do these tricks and hopefully that helps you guys out. So I'm gonna use these mini treats. Um, it seems to work really well for the dogs. They love them. I'm gonna put them in this fanny pack. You could also put them in your pockets, but I don't really want my pockets to smell like bacon or wild rabbit recipe all day. So I'm just gonna use the fanny pack. It makes them easily accessible. And I'm also gonna use a regular six foot lead. Um, I'm only gonna use this on Falcon because she doesn't listen quite as well as Phoenix does. Hey guys, we used this leash a lot when we were training Falcon and also when she first moved in here We just let her like drag it around the house So if she ever did something that we didn't want her to do or chase after the cat Which we had at the time we would just hold on to the leash so she wouldn't do that So the first thing we're gonna do is sit. It's a very basic command It's kind of hard to show because my dogs already know how to sit so as soon as I pull the treats out They already immediately sit uh, it's because I ask them to do it every single time before I give them anything, basically. Even before we open the door to go outside. But what I usually do is hold a treat over the dog's nose. It's going to make them look up at it, and then naturally their bottoms will come down and touch the ground. And you want to say yes, or good job, or good girl, or whatever, as soon as their bottoms hit the ground so that they know that that is the action that you want them to do. Okay, come on. Sit. Good sit, good sit. Two of you are very smart. The next trick is the thing that naturally comes after sit, which is lay down. Phoenix is really good at lay down. I could just tell her to lay down and she'll do it. Falcon, on the other hand, is a little bit more difficult to do this with and she's always kind of been like that. I guess she doesn't really understand the whole concept of laying down because she's really hyper. So what I usually do, I show the dog the treat and I have them sit first. Then I put it in between their front two paws. The mistake I used to make was put it out in front of them, but that just gave them the opportunity to like pick up their bottoms and go get the treat. Instead, if I put it in between their two paws, it makes them kind of like curl in on themselves, push their legs out, and then lay down. Phoenix is a master at this, probably because she is very, very lazy. Falcon, we have to do even more work on. She's pretty flexible, so if I put the treat between her legs, she can probably bend down there and get it. From there, I usually swing it around to the side of her body to convince her to kind of lay down and then also like put her weight on one of the hips instead of like sitting there like a sphinx because that's not really laying down that's just her ready to pounce like she's a cat. The next really important one is leave it. So we use this a lot on the baby's toys which is how we're able to get the dogs to respect his toys. It doesn't really work the other way around. The baby doesn't get leave it. He just picks up all the dog toys and puts them in his mouth so that's gross but it means that they don't like tear up anything that doesn't belong to them which is nice. Usually I put a treat on the ground, make sure they see it, and I tell them to leave it. I don't give them that treat. And uh, if they try to go for it, I usually put my hand over it or my foot or something so that they know they can't have that one. Then as soon as they look away, think about something else, I say yes, and I give them a different treat, and they never get the leave it treat. I put it back in the bag, and maybe someday they'll get it again, but they don't get it at that time because to me, leave it means like you never get to have that. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. 
Good leave it. Good job. Good job. The next one we do is wait and okay, which is kind of like telling them to stay, but stay is like, you know, you don't get up for anything. And I'll be the first to admit that my dogs are not good at stay. They will stay there until they deem it necessary to move and then they'll move. So we found it a lot easier to do wait and okay. We do this a lot when we're feeding them dinner. I have the dogs sit and I tell them to wait. Sit. Wait. Back up. Sit. Wait, 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 okay. And when you first start off, you probably can only get like one or two steps before the dog follows you again, but you just keep practicing it further and further away until you can go really far away and then you recall them and say either okay or you call them to you. Ah, oh, bad day. Wait. 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 No! <laughs> okay. Good job. Good job. Okay. Wait. Wait. Phoenix, here. Sit. Good job. Good sit. And then, of course, there's always fun tricks you can do. Phoenix is a lot better at this than Falcon is, because I think she's just a better listener, and Falcon tends to get a little confused about these things, so Phoenix is our trick dog. You can teach them to high-five. High-five. Good girl. High-five. Yes! <laughs> I don't know how I taught Phoenix how to high-five. She's just smart. She just does it now. We haven't figured out how to teach Falcon how to do it. Can you give me a high-five? Do you know how to give a high-five? Shake! Good shake! Good shake! <laughs> And also spin. I usually take the tree, I put it above the dog, but not high enough so that it would cause them to sit, and I spin it around in a circle. Okay, ready? Spin! Yes! Fun fact about Phoenix, she's not an ambi-turner. She can only spin over her left shoulder. If we try it around her right shoulder, it's a hot mess. Let me know in the comments section below what tricks and or training has worked out really well for your dogs. Any other tips that you want to give as husky or dog owners are greatly welcome. And any crazy training stories that you have, I love hearing all your dog stories. Also, don't forget to send me your submissions for This Is A Pillow. You can use hashtag This Is A Pillow on Twitter or Instagram or send me a direct message with a picture of your dog sleeping in a weird, funny position or using something that isn't generally a pillow as a pillow. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I post new things every Wednesday. You can tap on that little circle with my face in it to subscribe right underneath Falcon. If you want to see my last video, you can go here. And if you want to see more dog stuff, you can go down there, like my penis. And now that we're at the end of this video, it's time for This is a Pillow. All right, it's been real. See you guys next time. Bye.